What's up guys, welcome back to Sundown Audio Unofficial, your home for all the behind the scenes footage here at Sundown Audio. My name's Derek and this is going to be an episode of Tech Time. On this episode, I'm going to tell to you about our number one asked question here at Sundown Audio and that's how to wire up my subwoofer. Parallel versus series wiring, how to connect it to your amplifier in those ways. I got some things here on the table to show you, we're going to do a whole video of it. Give me a second to get this camera set up. We're going to talk about series versus parallel wiring. All right, so this is a voice coil. This is one voice coil, but is referred to as a dual voice coil. So how is it a dual if it's only a single voice coil? We have one voice coil, one former, but there are two completely separate windings around here, which is why there are two sets of tabs. You can get these in dual one, dual two, dual four, but it's these two separate windings that give you the dual voice coil, even though it's only one physical voice coil. So now I'm gonna take you down to an actual subwoofer. We're gonna show you how to wire this up. All right, here we have our Sundown Audio EV3 12 inch subwoofer. This is a dual voice coil subwoofer. Flip it over here. You'll see we have connections for one coil here, connections for the other coil here. So to show you real quick, you're going to wire this voice coil in parallel. What you're going to do is take the positive from one side and we're going to jumper it to the negative of the other side. You're then going to take your other wires, which is now going to be the negative of this side. Connect it to the positive of this side. And your subwoofer is now wired in series. So if this was a dual two, wiring in series now makes it a single forum connection. So we're going to bring in our SAE 600 to demonstrate. You would then take your single four ohm connection, wire it to your amplifier if your amplifier is rated for that single four ohm load. Now to change this up, we'll go to parallel wiring. So in parallel, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go positive from one side to positive to the other side, negative from one side to negative of the other side. Now there's two ways we can do this when you're doing a single subwoofer setup. So we can take our positive and negative from this side. Then we're gonna hook to our positive and negative of the other side. And if this was a dual two ohm subwoofer, you're then gonna have your two two ohm voice coils gonna connect in parallel. You can take your separate wires, go straight to the amplifier with them. Because even though this amplifier has two connections, it's a mono block. These are paralleled internal to the amplifier. It is not two channels. You don't have to worry about bridging it. By taking a wire from each voice coil, going straight to your amplifier with it, it parallels that connection for you. It takes your dual two ohm subwoofer and turns it into a one ohm load at your amplifier. The other way to do it would be take your connection from one side, you're going to take your positive and your negative, you're going to jumper it to this side, and we're then going to connect our wires here. So we're going to take our negative, connect those two, take our positives, connect those two. And this is now wired in parallel. So we've taken our positive from this side, jumper to our positive here, our negative from this side, jumper to our negative here. We have one single wire that can then go to our amplifier, connect to our amplifier. If this was a dual two subwoofer, two ohms each side wired in parallel will give us that one ohm load here at our amplifier. So what's the next step? What if I have two subs? So 
So let's add another subwoofer. So I want to wire two subwoofers straight to my amplifier. And in this instance, we would recommend dual four ohm subwoofers. So what we're going to recommend you do is again, you're going to take each subwoofer and you're going to wire it in parallel. So I'm a jumper from my positive negative on this side to my positive negative over here. Then I'm a jumper this one the same way. So this, this speaker wire is coming out of this. It's going to run to my amplifier. Same on this one. Everything's positive to positive and negative to negative. So we've now turned this dual four ohm subwoofer into a single two ohm load that's going to run to our amplifier. Same with this one. We've taken this dual four ohm subwoofer, we've wired its two voice coils in parallel, turning it into a single two ohm load to go to our amplifier. We can then take our wires here, connect them to our amplifier, and since that's internally paralleled, it's going to take those two two ohm loads each, combine them to a single one ohm load at our, at our amplifier. So now let's show you all some, some easy math I use. And what you do is you take whatever voice coils you have. So if you're using subwoofers that have a four ohm voice coil. So we're going to take our impedance is four. You then take how many total voice coils you have. So if we're running one subwoofer with two voice coils and we're wiring that in parallel, it's going to be four divided by two and that's gonna give us a two ohm load. If we had two subwoofers that are dual four ohm, we're gonna have our four ohm load. We're gonna then have four voice coils. Four divided by four is gonna equal one ohm. You can also, if you're doing a single subwoofer setup where you're running a dual two ohm sub, your voice coil is going to be two ohms. We're, at this point, we're doing the single subwoofer. So we have two voice coils. So two ohms is the impedance of our coils divided by how many coils we have, which is going to be two, is going to equal our one ohm load going to our amplifier. In the same sense, we have two dual two ohm subs and we're going all parallel. So we have our impedance of two ohms. Now we have four voice coils. Two divided by four is gonna equal our half ohm load. All right guys, hopefully I explained that in a simple and easy to understand manner. Any questions you have, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. Any recommendations you have for me, something you want to see different, something I should have done differently, things you want to see next on Tech Time, leave in the comments, let me know. If you like what I'm doing here, click the thumbs up, give us a like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Until next time, I'll see you there.